paid for by the Lego Group. Give a huge marble booth welcome to Jesper C. Nielsen and Jesse Falcon! Thank you very much. Where did your love for toys begin? Take me back to your childhood. Jesper, tell me about childhood in Denmark. What I really loved playing with, with uh, as a kid, a lot of action toys and then Lego, of course. So so that's actually my love for, for toys. Wow, okay. So you were playing with Legos even as a kid? Yes, of course I did. Yeah, of course. Everything does. It, it's, a, it's a part of our constitution. <laughs> we were, were talking about our histories and, you know, and being fathers and watching kids see toys for the first time. Because when, when you're an adult, you really can't see something for the first time again. Coming to the show and being able to see all of these incredible things that people work really, really hard on all year long. Um, and so th th it is a great joy to come to this show it to is. see people engaging with stuff. When you've seen things, a lot of times you can't unsee them. But if you're standing next to a kid or someone else experiences it for the first time, you can almost see it again. It's it's the closest thing ever. When someone, uh, a master builder, is pitching a new idea for a Lego set, what does that look like? Actually, you could say we've got a process where there's a week, a year, where you can do whatever passion project you want and then present it and then it goes into a funnel and some of that is actually selected and then becomes product. It would be someone like me saying, we really want this or yeah. this is my wish list, and then someone else fulfills it. That's probably the real key to why we're still here. And while you're connecting, connecting bricks, then you're disconnecting something else. So I think for a lot of people, there's a relaxation actually yeah. in building something because it creates a focus and then it frees up your mind to do something else. We look and design and develop these Marvel Lego sets that you guys can see over here at the Marvel booth yeah. or down at the, the Lego booth. You guys all know the Marvel brand. We have a great set that came out last year with Avengers Tower. You know, one of the things that we really try to work into the build is that we're doing as much storytelling as possible. You have to think about what the experience of building will be like for the consumer. It, it, that's key. It, it's key. Who are, who are we developing for and what is it we believe that they will experience? And, and that's also why there's a pretty rigorous process of a lot of people building these because there's an intuitivity that we're, we're aiming for. Particularly with the Marvel films, like um, are are we sending sketches or mock-ups? Are you going to visit the sets to get a, a feel for what things it, will it, look it, like? It differs. It, 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 it differs. It's depending on the movies. It's what can we get and can we get it in time to actually react. And what the second was Ant-Man was, yeah, was, the, it was the quantum vehicle. Yes. And, and you say, we had a fully developed uh, model, and I think you wrote me, there's been an update. That's part of working on, on film development is sure. like, the, you know, we, we could read a script and then by the time they get to editing the, with, with yeah. the, you know, with the, with the way that they technology works is that they could change their mind. Yeah. We could only do it because we've got a team that is super good at doing stuff unreasonably fast because I think the real <laughs> development time on that one was probably something like 14 days to do the build and it's actually not a simple build it's a small model but it's yeah, not yeah. a simple build yeah I will say this there is a luxury with working yep. in that capacity with Lego because the Lego aesthetic is an interpretation yeah, 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 yeah. you can say Lego is a is a creative medium so it's yes. something translated through the medium of Lego there is a set where we've got the um, the Milano from the first Guardians movie, and I think it's such a beautiful on Lego spaceship, and yet it's it's translated to Lego. Any favorite Marvel minifigs? For me, I like the ones that are out of the ordinary. I like when I get like a Hulk or an Abomination, something big and chunky. the big guys. Yeah, yeah. I've got a preference for the t the vision figure and yeah. that's because it's got transfer uh, transparent legs is that the so first it's time like he's you, that's the first time you did that right yeah, yeah it's the yeah. first time and it's because he's partly digital so he's, he's just about to download and i th yeah it's a super detail it's so hard you're asking to pick between <laughs> babies isn't it i, I, I think <laughs> i i think there's a hero for everyone and i actually think that's the strength that we've got of course this is a profession but what makes it is passion. Yeah. So it's passion and professionalism that makes it into toys.